We are in Alvera Street in the interactive center for the David Alfaro Siqueiros mural. And Alvera Street, back in the 30s, there was some art galleries. It was kind of an art center. Uh, Mexican and American, you know, exchanges. And Siqueiros he came into LA to do a mural atop this, I think there was a restaurant here at the time. I forget how long it took, it wasn't long, and it's called America Tropical. And the wall that he painted on, it's a very large wall, but the wall faced um, City Hall. He had the help of many, many artists, a lot of them, Mary Blair, who worked for Walt Disney, Millard Sheets, really great gifted artists who did all the mosaic murals on the banks in Los Angeles, and uh, lots of artists and professors who helped him do this mural. All the people that helped him were um, people who believed in what he was doing, you know, getting the um, work that had like purpose or meaning. An art curator had a gallery here in Alvera Street, gave him the theme of tropical America. And so he did do that. He put tropical America stuff, but he, in the middle of the, in one night he painted a, an indigenous guy hanging from a double cross and then imperialistic, you know, eagle perched on top. And that was very political. And he was a very political guy. And, at the, and the times were not very tolerant of, of those uh, types. Siqueiros was a stone communist. I mean, like, bless his heart. Well, some of the other um, images that drew controversial reactions were the two men perched up high on the far right where they're holding rifles and they're definitely revolutionary type guys. So uh, immediately the, the LA Times and a lot of people started um, criticizing uh, the artist for doing those images. I could say it faced City Hall. In those days, there was no buildings between here and City Hall, I can imagine. And then the mural was whitewashed shortly after he painted it. Uh, it, was, it was whitewashed in stages, one third and then another third. And I don't know how long it lasted, a week? Two, I don't know, two weeks? And it was, that's very unfortunate. It's a beautiful mural. Getty many years ago was interested in restoring the mural, but they wanted to honor Siqueiros' um, wishes that it not be you know, painted over in any way, shape, or form, that it had to be restored, which is very different. Restoration is really different from um, painting it over. And they had people come here and painstakingly take away the white paint that actually served to protect the mural in the end. Basically, the whitewash came off, but the mural was using polymers and epoxy paint and it was still pretty much there. This mural, opening night, here at the Interpretive Center at Alvera Street, the idea came from Tom Hartman, the environmental designer who designed this entire um, space. He called me up and asked me if I would be interested in doing a mural here, and it would be on Center on Cicados, as America Tropical, and I immediately loved the idea and was excited to um, I work with John Valadez, who's a really great and gifted artist, so it was a kind of a collaboration. Opening night, just throwing out the idea of what it might have looked like the day that Cicados unveiled the mural. There are no existing photographs, but we're making the assumption that all these people turned out for the opening night. Some of the stories were, it was a rainy night, so that's why we have a kind of a storm cloud behind it, but you only have it barely because you're trying to show what the mural looked like. The controversy about trying to repaint the mural outside was we don't really know what the real colors were. That's one of the main reasons why we did this recreation in black and white. Most of the people are in here for a reason. They were either close friends, close associates, close um, artists, friends of his people who admired him. So a lot of them were people that you would never think uh, would be here supporting him. Edith Head, famous designer, Dolores Del Rio and Ramon Novato, they also were very close friends with him and supporters. Siqueiros was sponsored by Charles Lawton, Edward G. Robinson, and I guess these were the lefties of that time. I realized that one of his former instructors, uh, Mr. Martinez from Mexico City, had come to LA, so we have him right in back of Siqueiros. All these people came out to support this guy to show that they really cared about his work and they respected him as an artist and a, as a storyteller. This is pretty much almost a complete reproduction of the painting and the content of the painting and the message and why it got a lot of people upset. 